Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. On Ben Pope Games last episode, we had quite a fight against the Abastians. Uh We beat them, but we lost most of our forces. So this army is recouping. And, uh, excuse me, I had a burp. And a few other things have ha has happened since then. Let's see, they... Army, this army increased in rank, so we're gonna give him integrity and and morale for guerrilla warfare. There, uh, we completed a town center. I think here we're gonna put in, uh, is it in yeah, in Solona. That's gonna be the market stalls, so we can get spies. Um, our king has had a illegitimate birth. If we look at our king here. He has now had two illegitimate births, so um, bastard son there. He is able to get women in bed, but he cannot marry anyone. Uh, he's actually really low on influence. He hasn't been getting influence, and that's really the problem. Because I'm kind of just holding on to his position there in the city. It's probably not the best idea. Especially since he has gained the trait, the torturer. It's King High King Vidimir, the torturer. He likes to use the clamps, the tiny clamps, the ones with teeth, which actually messes up my public order in all the provinces. So I think him sitting in the town there is doing that. But that's not as funny as Favilac the Flaccid. Uh, oh yes, he uh, has made he makes poor choices in his bed partners. Uh, less chance of having children. I think. Where is he? He's a governor. I think he's. Um, no, I think he's not a governor. I think he's just in the city as a, as a um, diplomat, some kind. Can't actually select him. Right. Uh, so we're not really doing much on this side. Everybody's good. Our uh, cities are growing, things are being built, so we're gonna get lancers from there once that's done. Uh, this is being built and we're gonna have, uh, I guess, pikemen and gothic warband. And then uh, here we're gonna have money and build the market stalls to get spies. Um, I think here is what we're gonna go for the meeting hall to get that... Um, to get this, the Warlord's Castle, which can only be built in the faction capital, so we want we want that, and uh, it's going to give us a few good things along the way. Uh, this navy has leveled up as well, and let's see integrity, whole strength. What's that upkeep? So we want to go for the upkeep, but we have to get this point as well. Next time we can get upkeep. And replenishment and ruin Rome, ruins of Rome. That's also pretty good if you fight Romans, which I am kind of on ongoing uh, in an ongoing war with Romans. But um, let's see a governor possibly do the corruption. And I don't know what you're governing, but we have enough food, so I'm gonna go for corruption all the way. No corruption for us there. Actually, just, you know, a few points. Uh, your governor up here in um, Samaria, or Crime area. So we're going to do construction costs. I think we have okay food. Right, now we can end the turn. And we'll find out what else happens in the world of Attila Total War. Uh, this is my second attempt to record this episode. I had a crash during one of these um, turns ends. The second turn I ended. So I was like, meh, I'll just start over. But yeah, um, this is going okay. The Huns are moving. The Huns, go away Huns. I'm not at active war with them. And I think they're just here because they're, they have no other land to leech from since they probably destroyed everything up north of us it's all desolate um one of the downsides 
or one of the problems that I, I would say with with how the game works in um, early stages the Huns will go around and destroy a lot of nations uh, and you end up with so much desolate land and towards end game you kind of just have a few nations left that are you know that manage to survive and then you have the Huns Council of Cartridge Priests from around the Christian world have met at Cartridge once again. The ascetic Pelagius preached that God is not required to cleanse us of sin and that the original sin never occurred. Many claim that this is heresy and that Pelagius and his followers should be driven out. Um, I, I, th I just, wait, there wasn't... The original sin never occurred. I don't know, and there's always sin around, so... Um... I... I guess... We'll go with that. I don't know. I'm gonna, not sure what happens. We encountered the Venedians. Can you trade? Where are the Venedians? Haha, <laughs> you can trade, and you are like... Like-minded, same blood. Let's trade. There's a good pork roasting for you, and better ale and mm. meat set aside. But first, we talk. We shall ask you for non-aggression. We. Sh I'm sorry, you're friendly, and improving. I'll just try next turn. Crying out loud. Who's this? Italia? Can you trade? You want to trade again? I think we traded My with you before. I haven't looked at this. Alright, who else would like to trade? No. And that's about it. Would be nice to get a few more trades going and get that income up. Alright, so we are at 4,000 bucks. I feel like upgrading something here, like the, the fields uh, to the enclosed fields, gets us archers. Gothic archers and Germanic crossbowmen. Which we want to do because that's a whole lot better than what we can train right now, which is just stupid hurlers. And um, in fact, we are not even going to get any of these hurlers. Um, and we're just going to get more swords. Um, yeah. And another spear. And once we have the building, which I think, was it three turns? Four turns. That uh, might be a bit much. Alright, so we spent our money here. Um, yes. The boats. Maybe I can... Tr uh, maybe I can... Yeah, yeah, I can... I can improve our... We have three archer boats. Yeah, let's get a couple more of these. Alright. That's all I'm going to do. Because we spent our money. Theodoric. A general who is burned. He lost his status and prestige and made him bitter, envious, and discontented. Sir, would you like some, uh, um, shoot, you have, you have no army or anything. Would you like some ammunition and some morale? How about that? Does that make you better? Make you a happier man? Theodoric was a happy man. Not really. I do appreciate you guys watching this. The few of you that watch my Total War content still. I'm having more luck. Uh, it seems like I'm having more luck with uh, some of the other games that I'm uploading. But I will continue to upload the current uh, campaigns I have for Total War. Maybe I'll spice it up. I was thinking of more of a roleplay uh, with a f few like specific mods that would make it uh, more unique uh, for like a Danes campaign or something um, where we can just have huge Vikings walking around destroying things we'll see um, what else I uh, so yeah I appreciate you guys watching and please do comment let me know of of what you think of the campaign and how it's going and, and uh, Leave a like whenever you watch and are enjoying the episode. I know that not all, not all the episodes are going to be like super top quality, but... Um, oh, 
Okay, so the stolen sword. I have listened to each side of the argument and my verdict satisfied both parties. In other words, the elders declared you a wise ruler uh, and gained the trait. Apparently, I've gained that trait twice. Is that actually is that actually real? Let's see. High king, good in a fight, loyal. Uh, war cry, diplomatic tone. Just once. So twenty percent trade agreement bonus. Uh, I think I probably appoint some of these guys to offices. Cause I don't think I have. It can be an elder. Uh, I think you guys are set. You can't. You don't have enough. Um, this guy's over there. Go to the moon, right? Why don't we upgrade you? Or actually, let's just wait. No. Uh, just wait for you to run out, because um, that's that's you there. Okay. Run out of that term. You're still 17. You can be appointed too? No, you can't, because you're actually part of the Visigoths. Okay. Uh, you don't have enough... What is this called? <laughs> Influence. And this guy's still too young. Alright. So we took care of that. Looks like these guys are thinking of marching back towards me. That's okay. We will um, crush them. I think, yeah, spending a bit more money now. And I think that fleet is ready. Uh, this is going to increase the squalor and public order. It's going to be damaged a bit. But uh, we have two available squalor uh, sanitation there. And um, so we should be good. I want to upgrade our boats, but not yet. Let's look at the other cities. I know I wanted to upgrade this to a market stall, and that's 1700, so we can do that. That will increase squalor imp and public order problem by one, but again, we have, then we have that covered. And here, uh, we don't have enough. Holy cow, this. It's a lot more expensive there. I just spent 1700 to upgrade to that tier on this side. And uh, Sirmium is a lot more expensive. Um, here we could do... We would have to do the chapel and we don't have enough money. Can we build something? What is it I wanted to build? Yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. I don't need a chieftain's house. I was even thinking of not keeping that one, but I will because it will get me more champions to recruit. So I could do another well. Um, I can convert this well, but I'm actually going. I'm actually losing some wealth there. Uh, baptistry. Oh, I don't know. Let's improve something here. do a town center. I already have the granary. I have a town center. I have the chapel. Uh, so I think a artisan is the only thing I don't have. That'll make us more money. Cool. End the turn. Let's go. Carry on. Carry on. Sipping on my coffee. So yeah, I was um, looking at all the mods that are on the Steam Workshop. One of them caught my eye, and it was um, actually one that Alex the Rambler had a video on, and it was kind of like hero units for this for this game for a total war. So you would have like a, a imagine a, like a super fighter person, you know, um, like if this was Rome too, you would have uh, like Leonidas or something for Sparta, you know, where he can just go in and kill a bunch of dudes by himself. 
Well, those people existed. The, you, know, the, you know, the more skilled warriors, they existed uh, throughout time. So, you have been worthy uh, allies. Elements. Our ancestors tell us to put aside friendship. This we will do. You don't want to be friends, huh? All right, that's fine. Uh, looks like somebody is beating up Abastia up there. And I don't mind it. In fact, uh, I don't need all their land. But that specific town I would like to have because it's got gold. Mundus, greetings. I have brought a gift from my people in order that we may improve relations, engage in factual. Hmm. Alright, off is secured. Uh, well, who are your people and... See, I don't like this because I remember doing... Yeah, I'll, I'll accept the gift. And it was like, poison, dagger in the heart. Ah. I don't know what the gift is. Who are your people? Uh, I think we will ignore him. Oh, let's accept it again. Who cares if I lose another general or something? My high king, the torturer. Why are all these Huns here? Go away, stupids. I'm actually worried. I'm actually worried of all these Huns. What can you train? Hmm. Uh, we can upgrade our horses. 200. Get speed. Ready for order. Yeah, I don't know what to actually... Let's see, health 105, armor 25. Armor 53, armor 53, melee defense 30. I kind of feel like having more spears because these guys come with a lot of ammo. And uh, I, th my um, my swords would probably not last as long. Well, they have a bit more health, but the spears have a lot more armor. So, um, and I have some horses and stuff. But yeah, let's get more spears. Of the Germanic spears. What can you train? Um, must we really wait until? Yeah, go over here and then train. Right, um, if the Huns attack me, I'll have some forces. Uh, gotta click here. Alright, so, you guys are still getting dudes, and then we're gonna head out. We will head out. The Venedians. Let's see. My friend, be welcome. Let's All right. Well, you might as well pretend like I'm not there then. Because if you don't, you'll have to fight me and I might poop my pants and um then 
take off my pants and throw the poop at your face. That's that's kind of the um, ammunition I have right now. Everything else is kind of uh, lost, lost in space. I'm not in a very good position to fight you hand to hand, so I'll just toss poop. Sounds fair. Looks like the Huns have gained some courage and um, moved in. Moved into my capital. At my capital's doors. I wish that somebody would come in and uh, fight them. But nobody's doing that. There's nobody man enough to stand up to the Huns, so I have to do it myself. Yeah. Hostile agent activity. They failed anyway. Uh, age 50, natural causes, Gundamar. Um, okay, what else? Battle state. A mercenary commander passing through sees an audience. He offers us his swords and loyalty if we would be willing to pay upfront, engage in faction politics. Alright. Um, we, we should negotiate. I don't know. I feel like I should negotiate. It doesn't say that I'm being raided. Uh, but I am being raided. I'm not being sieged. Um, and I'm not at war with them. So... I have a spy somewhere, don't I? Where's my spy? Raiding agent exposed. Where are you, dude? No, I mean, like, where are you? <laughs> he was over here, wasn't he? Alright. Uh, he lost his artillery because he's dead. Alright, military. Somebody gained a monumental mason. Um, I think you're a general. Somebody gained procrastinator. Alright, right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. We're still making a thousand three hundred. So, um. I might check here. How much are these guys per turn? 260 and 325. I really, need, I really need to improve my upkeep. And let's see. How much time do I have left in... Mm, pretty much close to being out of time. Uh, so it's been kind of a recuperating moment here for our forces uh, which can now which can now probably move forward and attack something so we're gonna go over here we're gonna support them with these guys like that and we're gonna go down here a bit more Um, I t do I want to let them take that city? No, but you can't really do anything about it when they're already engaged in combat. If these guys come attack this, I do have some garrison, so I should be fine. Should is the key word. Uh, I don't have any archers. Bloody hell. Okay, so I'll have to come back and get some archers. Um, <laughs> so... Let's let's do it. Let's do a force march. We wanna we wanna be here on our land, and um, get some archers and then move on. 
And here, if they attack me, fine. If not, I might just attack them. Although there's two of... Mm, pretty high end, I would say. Um, units there for them. Large onagers and stuff. So we don't really want to fight those guys right now because we don't have the beef. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do comment. Let me know what, uh, what you think. Make suggestions. And um, what is this guy anyway? It's shaman. Okay. I thought it was like a priest type. And uh, okay. So I will see you guys in a few days with another episode. Do watch my other uh, series. The Burgundians. That's pretty fun too. I'm probably having more fun there with, with those guys. Just because... I don't know. I just been able to get a lot more done quicker. So, um I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again. Bye.